गाइज हर्षे एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो एपिसोड ऑफ शाउट मिलाड टूडे वीडियो इज फॉर द ई मेल मार्केटर्स फॉर द यूजर्स हु आर ऑलरेडी यूजिंग कन्वर्ट केट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर वन टिप विच विल हेल्प मेक योर ई मेल रीच आउट टू मोर पीपल और राइट सो यूजली वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू सेंड आउट एन ई मेल टू योर कंप्लीट लिस्ट मेनी ऑफ द यूजर्स डोंट रियली इंगेज विद योर ब्रॉडकास्टेड ई मेल सो इन कन्वर्ट केट देर इज अ फीचर विच हेल्प यू टू री सेंड ई मेल्स टू दोज हु हैव नॉट ओपन योर ई मेल I'll show you that with an example, which will help you to understand the whole process. So uh, let me go back to my ConvertKit account, and this is my recent email broadcast. So you can see the email was sent to sixteen thousand people, and with twenty one percent open rate, eight point four percent click rate. So apart from twenty one point eight, I think like can still send email to seventy eight point two percent people. Those are the people who have not opened the email. It's not like they have. So they might have received the email, but they haven't opened the email. Do remember that sometimes you won't be able to track this this because if somebody is using pixel blocking add-ons, which basically does not allow any email services to send those details that email has been opened or not. All right. So here is what you need to do. So this was an email which I sent for the first time, and after that I resend that email to the to the audience who who has not engaged with my earlier email. Now you can see that this is a cumulative report, which is actually pretty good. Thirty-six point eight percent open rate with eleven point four percent click rate. It's not bad. So here is what you need to do if you're using ConvertKit. This would help you. If you're not using ConvertKit, I suggest you should start using it. I started liking ConvertKit. It's pretty easy to use. Once you get hang of ConvertKit, your email marketing will become very easy, especially for bloggers. All right. So here's what you need to do. You need to click on the email that you have sent. So you need to click on broadcast, and this will list down all the emails that you have broadcasted in the past. So this email I've sent uh, almost three days back, which is actually good time to resend another email. So what I can do? Just click on the email subject name, and here on this page, what you can do? You can click on resend to unopens. Now the people who have not opened your email, they will receive this email again. And what you can do, you can also make some changes if you want. If you want to ch make some changes, like I see you missed uh, reading my earlier email. So you know whatever word that you want to add, because sometimes people find it annoying to receive the same email. Or maybe like if you are sending out a blog post, like in this case, they might have read the blog post by going to the blog directly. So you need to be smart with this, uh, depending upon the kind of audience you have, depending upon the kind of email list you have. All right. So once this is done, click on save, click on next step, and you can see the email will be sent out to twelve thousand five hundred forty-seven people. Click on send broadcast, and that's it. Boom. email is being sent it would take about 5 minutes depending upon your email list size and you should come back after 2 days or 3 days to see the cumulative report uh, so it's already here like this was the first email this is their email that i have resent to the unopens and this is a cumulative report which will keep increasing over the time well those who don't focus on resending email to unopens you'll find it very useful especially if you see very less open rate you can also play with your subject you can change the subject to say when you are sending to the unopens which is actually a good practice well i hope you like this tip if you enjoyed this tip do click on like share this video with your email marketing friends with bloggers thank you bye bye